What's up guys, Tao here. So for the past few days, I've been trying out this Gigabyte Z390 Elite motherboard and to use with these three PCIe M.2 SSDs uh, to create a RAID configuration just to see how easy, how simple uh, to use RAID on the motherboard. Um, I know this motherboard only has two M.2 slots, so therefore I'm using one of those uh, M.2 to PCIe the adapters so to use these three M.2 SSDs all together and um, yeah if you're curious and if you like me um, curious about the core configuration stick around right the three PCIe M.2 SSD I'll be using uh, the first one is the WD PCIe M.2 SSD at 256 gig and also this is the Samsung version uh, 960 Pro 1 terabyte version and also this is the Sabrent 2 terabyte version um, PCIe M.2 SSD I know I know before you guys say anything these are three totally different size uh, capacity now this in this video I will be doing demonstration if you do want to go with the PCIe RAID configuration and make sure to use the same brand the same capacity uh, preferably same performance so you will get the overall uh, a stable or consistent performance now this is just for demonstration now for my instance if you do use three different sizes so the RAID configuration will always always pick the least storage so for this instance, for this instance if we use RAID 0 so it will pick uh, 256 and times 3. So that's because the rate is always pick the smallest capacity. There are a few steps we need to take to make this work. Uh, first one is to install Intel RTS uh, driver software in, inside Windows, uh, Windows 10, and then go back to the BIOS uh, to configure the BIOS setting and to let the mother recognize all three and also go back to Windows again and just to finish the setup. Now, just a word of advice for Hackintoshers, if you guys out there who use uh, Hackintosh and Windows do boot at the same time, um, the, you will have issue because Hackintosh or Mac OS rather uh, will not recognize uh, it's not compatible with Intel RTS, the rapid storage technology. You might have to keep switching back to AHCI and uh, Intel RTS every time if you want to switch. We'll talk, about it, we'll talk about a little bit more on this later in the video. So for now, just bear in mind, if you use Hackintosh, there will be a few more steps involved. All right, now we have all three PCIe M.2 SSD plugged in, uh, one of them with adapter. And let me show you in the BIOS, you can actually see all of them. Uh, within the BIOS, you go into the plugin devices info and you click on that and you can see here, and uh, this one of the PCIe 16 is graphics card, one is four speed, which is the uh, M.2 PCIe SSD with adapter. And then there is another one, which is the graphics card, uh, no graphics card, is the uh, Wi-Fi card. And also you can see two M.2 slots have all been occupied. One is with the WD, the other one with Samsung uh, 960 Pro, this is the one terabyte. Now let's um, go back to Windows 10 and download the Intel RTS software and driver and then come back to BIOS and we're going to config the BIOS setting. Alright, now if your motherboard is compatible with Intel RST and they will have a driver section, you can see there's a SATA and RAID. And click on that, that is the Intel Rapid Storage Technology, this is the one you need to download and that is for the Windows 10. So after you download it, and just go ahead to install. Here I have downloaded early on. Now, this is a Intel version of the uh, RAID configuration. It will install the drivers and the application, and just go along. Now here is an important warning. So after you install the, the driver, now driver is, you cannot be uh, uninstalled. So if you do want to go ahead and then take advantage of the rapid storage technology with the PCIe RAID, go ahead. If you don't want to go ahead with it, just think twice before you do it, especially for the Hackintoshers. So think twice before you want to go ahead. Now, uh, in this video, assuming you do want to go ahead and click on continue, and I'm just going to install everything. Now here, uh, we'll just wait for it. It's 
finish. After that, it will ask you to reboot. So after the reboot, we're gonna reboot to the BIOS setting straight away, and then we're gonna configure the BIOS setting. Right now, we are in BIOS again. So the first thing we need to change, I can see this Z390 Elite. Uh, the BIOS version is F10G. Uh, if you have your old version, you might wanna update uh, just to keep the latest update. Uh, now, if you go into the IO port, uh, this one, and then if you click on that, the option you will need to select is SATA and the RST configuration. And if you click on that, so now this is important. Now the, the controller by default is HHCI. And what you need to do is you need to change to Intel RST Premium. So that's the one you need to change. And also on the PCI storage a device on port 9 so got three different ports on the motherboard and you need to change them to RST controlled so otherwise the motherboard will not uh, recognize the PCIe SSDs or the chipset will not recognize it so when you do is change all of them to RST controlled now the next step is very very important make sure you reboot the computer let the BIOS uh, take effect and let the BIOS recognize you've changed the settings and then after that you will start configuring the RAID settings now let's here let me just show you here now once we change the chipset controller to Intel RST so you can see here now if we go back they will have a Intel rapid storage technology. So that's the setting we need. And before that, make sure you use RST Legacy Room disabled. So that is for the old uh, connections. Make sure that is also disabled. Uh, this bit is also disabled. Now, if we go back to the rapid st storage technology, now here you can see we have three different uh, PCIe M.2 SSDs, WD, Sabrent, and Samsung. Uh, you can see the all different sizes, 256, 2 terabyte, and 1 terabyte. So the rate we are going to create is rate zero. So we're gonna use all of them as a one drive. So if you click on create rate, and uh, the volume I'm giving a test. So just for this purpose, I'm gonna give it test. And also we are going to use all the PCIe and dot SSDs, including space, select, and select. And the strip size, just leave as default. You can see here, the total capacity is just under 750 gig. That's because again, the RAID is always recognized the smallest capacity and use that smallest capacity. Now it's times three. And then we're gonna create volume. And that's it. That is, we're done here. So you can see under the test, they will have three PCIe SSDs, all of this. And then the next thing we do is just restart computer. Uh, let's double check again, make sure we got our setting right. Going to setup mode, yeah, that's enabled. Now we are going back to Windows. Now we are back to Windows 10. Uh, the way to check if you open disk management and you will see here, so immediately recognize the, the volume. So ask you to initialize and we can click on OK. Now, if you go down here, you can see here, here is a 715 gig of storage. That is the Brady connection we just created. So we can see it works. Now all we need to do is you, if we create a simple volume and we just set everything as default and then we do a says rate zero and then finish. So we just wait until this finish and then we should have there we go we should have a volume or disk called raid zero you can see here that is the storage now if we going to do a performance test 
Uh, let me see what do I have. Black magic. Oh yeah, I do. Okay. So if I do a test and select the rate zero, let's see. So now the write speed is one point nine gigabit per second, and read is two point nine, so it's just under three the gig bit per second, not too shabby. So what have we learned from this? In my opinion, it is quite straightforward to set up the Intel RST um, RAID connection on the supported Intel platform. And um, yeah, for those of you who actually want to give a go, take advantage of this technology, especially for the um, HDD connections or HDD setups um, for the uh, high performance M.2 PCI SSD. The point may not be the actual performance gain is rather the mass storage gain. So for my instance, RAID 0, I just use all the um, PCIe M.2 SSDs. Now, depending on the RAID configuration you choose, so you may have different performance. Now, bear that in mind, if you do use different um, SSDs or different uh, manufacturer, different size, different performance, RAID is always pick the least uh, performance, the smallest storage capacity. So um, the ideal world, use the same brand, same storage, same performance, and then you get consistent performance out of them. And also, especially for Hackintoshes, and this is quite important, if you do switch to the Intel RST rapid storage technology, now be aware that a Mac OS will not recognize that. So which means every time if you do a boot, switch from Mac to Windows, you will need to go into BIOS, change the SATA controller setting. Um, by default, it's AHCI, um, because that's the only uh, controller uh, platform Mac recognize. If you do use the Windows version, the RST, if you want to use inside of Windows 10, and make sure you keep on switching between those two uh, controller settings. I know it's a pain, but it's um, if you want to dual boot the Mac and the Windows, you're gonna to have to do that, I'm afraid, uh, simply because Mac will not recognize the Intel RST. So lastly, in terms of the uh, motherboard support on the M.2 PCI SSDs, um, every motherboard is different, and some of them has a one M.2 slot, some have a two M.2 slot, like this Gigabyte Z390 has two M.2 slots, and some of them will have one. Now, check your motherboard and make sure your PCI lane and M.2 there's no conflict and also make sure uh, your M.2 slot support both either PCIe or PCIe and SATA based. So and also make sure you have the right M.2 SSD to put in before you can take advantage of the Intel uh, RST. Yeah, so just check before you buy it. All right, guys, this is it. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this video helped you guys to understand the RAID configuration uh, with Intel rapid storage technology on Intel based platform and um, Yeah, so if you guys do want to take advantage of it and go ahead and uh, just make sure you understand the risks of the driver cannot be uninstalled and Also for those of you who are Hackintoshers Think twice before you go ahead. So if you do want to go ahead it just few more steps involved if you do boot Windows and the Mac um, it's not under the day, it's just a little bit hassle to switch in between. So yeah, so please share the video if you like it and maybe some your friends, your family, maybe other people would take advantage of it. If you do want to comment, please leave it in the comment down below and uh, share your experience and maybe have some questions. I will try my best to answer it and um, I understand I missed a lot of comments. Um, I'm sorry, I guess, uh, there's a woman army here. So yeah, please bear with me. And um, if I can answer your question, I will. Uh, otherwise, um, other users, please, uh, you know, answer the question if you know it. And um, yeah, we all share with each other. So yeah, that's it, Just, I need to stop talking. Yeah, see you guys in the next video.